Hello guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will show you how to resolve the issue Wi-Fi is not working on your Windows. Okay, I am using HP laptop here, so you can troubleshoot these steps on HP laptops, and you can follow these steps on other manufacturer laptop as well. So let's start without wasting our time. Let me show you my error. If I click on here. Now you can see I'm not getting any Wi-Fi options here. Okay, first you need to make sure that your Wi-Fi is turned on. Okay, in many systems and uh, many laptops, there is a physical Wi-Fi button. So you need to press it on or off, and also make sure that it is like this. It means that the aeroplane mode is on. Okay, you need to make sure that aeroplane is turned off. Okay. So I'm clicking on it's turn off now. Okay. So this is the basic step, but we are going to start our first step. So in the first method, we need to make sure that the Wi-Fi services is running. So how we can check that? Go to here, then tap here services. Okay. And run it as administrator. You need to have admin rights. Okay, now look for DHCP first. Okay, click anywhere on it and press D like this. DHCP. The DHCP is not directly to the Wi-Fi, but DF DHCP assign the IP. So make sure it is running. If not, double click on it like this and make it automatic and start the service. Okay, click on apply. Click on OK. And after that, we need to look for WLAN auto config in a W series. Press W, WLAN. Okay. You can also ch check this option Wi Fi Direct Services Connection Manager. Make sure it is manual and like this. Okay. Service status stop. So leave this at default. Click on OK. Okay. Now we need to look for WLAN. Okay, scroll it down, down, down. Here is the option WLAN auto config. Okay, double click on it and make sure its startup is automatic as you can see here. And start the service from here. Click on apply, click on OK. If already starting the service like this, you can restart it. It will refresh all the settings and services. Okay. And wire config also restart the service. You can see here the option. Okay. And exit out from here and check if we are getting the option of Wi Fi or not. You can see I'm not still getting so we can move to the second method in the second method We will use the Windows troubleshooter For that go to here Okay network and internet setting Now you can see not connected click on troubleshoot option Let it detect the problem and it will automatically resolve the issue. Click on all adopters, click on next. Looking for problems, and this step is very powerful, it automatically resolves the issue. Let's wait. Okay, troubleshooting could not identify the problem, so I have to close it. Okay, and go to the third method. In the third method, okay, 
go to control panel we will restore all the services of wi-fi go to control panel click on control panel click on view by and select large icons okay after that look for internet okay where is internet options okay okay here is internet options click on this option once you click on this option you need to look for this option which is advanced options here last options and click on restore advanced setting click on apply click on ok again go to same options okay and this time go to connections okay and this time go to lan settings and make sure automatically detect setting is selected here and click on apply ok here like this and also click on ok ok again go to here then this time click on reset reset internet explorer setting to the default click on reset ok uh, delete personal setting tick this option and click on reset it's resetting personal setting if something went wrong with your setting so you can reset it click on close and now it should work okay so let me open this okay it is still not showing okay uh, in the fourth method we will go to the device manager to fix the issue so let me close this option go to device manager and you can apply these methods on windows 7 8 11 and 10 also open the device manager here is the network adapter option it's expanding now so you need to look for this option uh, which is intel dual band wireless if you are getting the wireless it means the driver off it is the wi-fi driver so make sure it is not down in my case it is down so it means that it is disabled so right click on it and enable the device first and since it is disabled now let's wait it is enabling now it's taking time okay let's refresh it now let me check here okay here is uh, it means that my device and the wi-fi driver is disabled from the device manager so you need to enable this option after enabling this option you need, after that you need to right click on it and go to its properties go to here driver option and click on update driver click on browse my computer for drivers okay this option and now choose the latest one driver from here like this click on apply and let's wait it will automatically detect the driver and install the driver so you can see a window has successfully updated driver click on close click on close okay and check if your wi-fi is option is visible or not in my case this is working okay in your in your case it should working with these four through five methods close this option and if the Wi-Fi driver is not available here, you need to choose another option to download the Wi-Fi driver from pen drive and the other modem and install the driver on your Windows laptop. If these four methods are not working, we are going to move to the advanced method which is by CMD. Go to search bar, type as CMD, 
run it as administrator. Click on yes button when the prompt opens. Okay. And we will hit some commands here. The first command you need to type an IP config space slash plush DNS. It will resolve the, all the cache and delete all the cache from your windows. You can see here the successfully flush the DNS resolver cache. Now the second command we need to type here net sh space winshock space reset. This will reset all the socket errors. Like you can see successfully reset the winshock like catalyst and you must restart the computer in order to complete okay so you need to restart your system okay you need to restart your system and then try if you are connecting or not so hope your issue should be fixed with these five steps so hope your issue is fixed now if your issue is fixed then hit like subscribe and share thank you thanks for watching